want really in your heart? Don't you want what Caroline is describing tonight? Yes. It's not just for her. No. I mean, even I've experienced times when I've fallen on the floor for hours and I can't get up. Amen. I've laughed. I've cried. Yes. And I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I've just overcome with the Holy Spirit. Yes. And this was in church where you're supposed to be dignified. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, remember years ago, renewal started with the quietest little lady you would ever come across. Little gray-haired lady who come to church faithfully with her husband would never utter a word out loud but loved the Lord. And one night, Somebody, I don't, I don't even know who the speaker was, but somebody talked about the Holy Spirit, and she began to laugh, mm. and she laughed out loud, mm. and people all through the church caught it. The Holy Spirit just spread through that because she released herself. Yes. Yes. So it's all about surrender. When we sing, "I surrender all," mm. but I'm keeping this, I'm keeping that. You know, surrender. Yes, that's what yeah. it's all about. He surrendered everything for us mm -hmm. on that cross. So we surrender to him. Yes. This got nothing to do with our message. But. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just want, I, I'm like Caroline, I just want you to receive everything that God has. Not that we have it all. I want more. Yes. I'm greedy. Yeah. When I get a taste of something good, I want, when you have a good relationship, you want more, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, you'll never have a better relationship than the living God inside you. That's never. Right. Never. Mm. Okay. Uh, I think Spencer and Caroline and the people in the prayer room stole this. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably put it down now, but... Thank you, Lord. I'm just going to say, there's going to be a lot of questions I'm going to ask people tonight. What should a message do? Just think that over. What should a message do from the front? It should encourage you. It should make you think. It should cause us to do something. Either to act or react. You might not like what a person says up front. Because it might pinch you. Right? Maybe you need to be pinched, or poked, or prodded. The way that we react tells us what's in our heart. If you hear the truth from here, and you react angrily, upset, or walk away, or whatever, your heart's not right. Is there any amens out there? Yes. The Bible says, let a man examine himself. Yes. You know, when you, it says that about communion, examine yourself. Yes. Well, you should do that every time you come to church. Every time that there's a message, exactly. we examine our hearts. Mm -hmm. Are we right with God? Is what this person's saying pinching me, or am I agreeing with it? Mm -hmm. And if it's pinching me, I've got to do something about it. Yes. This is my scribbling. I scribbled one thing, then I have another thought, and then go back and forth. So <clears throat> you'll have to forgive me. There's going to be lots of questions, like I said. So what I entitled this was Spoiled Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> What's your definition of that? When you think of somebody as spoiled rotten, a child or an adult, when you think of that. Everything handed to them. Yeah. Kicking and screaming when you don't get what you want, when you want it. Not thankful, lazy, entitled, wanting what others have. Trump. <laughs> That's not on record. <laughs> You want what others have, even if it harms you. Just because they have it, you want it. Yeah. 
What about the church on earth today? Did you ever pray for revival and not see it? And wonder why? Do you ever wonder why revival takes place in other places in the world? Usually poor countries? Could it be that revival happens because God is all ahead? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Places where there is want for even the daily necessities of life. They're hungry for hope, for truth, and are willing to do whatever it takes to get to God. Yes. Sometimes risking everything, including family, jobs, or even their lives. Yes. Just think about that. Mm. How desperate are we? What about the church in North America? <clears throat> When's the last time that you had to sit on a log or a rock or a mud floor to hear the gospel? When's the last time you had to walk miles through the jungle over mountains in pouring rain to hear the gospel? When's the last time you were threatened to be punished if you went to church? <coughs> When's the last time you were afraid your home would be attacked because you're a Christian? Are we that spoiled child? What is our biggest concern going to church? Can we get a good parking spot? Is someone in my seat? <laughs> Is the seat comfortable? Is the music too loud, too fast, too slow? How about the preacher? Do they talk too long? I didn't hear any amens of that. <laughs> You're here for a while yet? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You can go with John. <laughs> How about the air conditioning? Or the heat? Do we want church our way with no surprises? Do you want it the same every week when you come to church? No. Or do you want to let God move? Amen. Somebody's listening anyway. <laughs> Are we open and excited and expecting God to move? Or are we coming for entertainment? Except this is questions we have to ask ourselves. We have to examine our heart. Yes. Um, am I giving true worship? Or am I just singing songs? Because it's Sunday and I'm just singing songs that I know. Mm -hmm. Are they touching your heart? You know, each song has a message. Yes. Yep. They bring it to the throne room. Amen. Amen. And tonight was incredible. I just want to thank you folks because it was just incredible. If you, wanted, if you wanted God, God was there. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Reach out and grasp Him. Yes. Did you sense the presence of God in those songs tonight? Yes. Amen. Did it touch your heart? Did it melt something in you? Were you overwhelmed in His presence? That song, uh, the one that Shirley liked today. I love that song. I love it. It draws me right in every time. I just, I don't know. Is it get, as we gather together, is it for our spirits to be encouraged from the front and from each other? Or are we just here because we're here? Why are we here? We're not playing. This is real life. You're either a Christian or you're not a Christian. So that's your life. You make a choice, right? You choose this day who you serve. That's what the Bible says. It says, uh, life is a battle. We all know that. We talked about that tonight. It's a battle. It's tough, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Everybody here is going through something. Yes. And that's why in Ephesians 6, it says, put on the whole armor of God. He wouldn't say that if you didn't have to have protection. You have to fight. It's every day. It's not just once in a while. We only win with Him alone. The Bible said to stir yourself, mm -hmm. to seek God's kingdom, to shake off heaviness. Yes. Yes. Anybody got a bulletin here tonight? Yes. <coughs> this, this is God because I wasn't planning writing that when I wrote this. Yes. It takes work is what it says on Peter's pitch. 
takes work. Philippians 2. And you have to use uh, what the spiritual gifts that God gives you, Timothy. Mm -hmm. You have to seek Isaiah. You have to put on Ephesians. Yes. Timothy, you have to study to show yourself a group. <coughs> Hebrews, you have to run. Mm -hmm. And in Matthew, you have to activate. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, a, it's a thing that we have to do. We, we can't just expect God to do it all for us. We have to build ourselves up in the most holy faith, constantly. It's not up to God, it's up to us to use the tools that He's provided. Amen. Amen. The church provides for the battle all the weapons that we need. Now please hear this. Worship, teaching, prayer, Bible study, fellowship, and soaking time. That's all tools that God provides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Lord. Look at each thing as a wonderful meal. Mm -hmm. A wonderful meal is great. Three hours later, you're hungry. <laughs> right? Yeah. You have to take another meal. Mm -hmm. That's what all these things are. They're meals mm -hmm. to build up your spiritual strength. Mm -hmm. And if you don't take them in... <coughs> You're, you're suffering somewhere along the line. Yes. You know, if you don't go to prayer, it's, we're not begging you to do this stuff. This is practical stuff. It's provided. This is what God provides for you. There's prayer. There's study. All those things. The service. There's worship. There's soaking. There's spending time at home alone. Do we do those things? Or are we that spoiled child that wants it all done for us? We're complacent in, in this country. We're just complacent. Mm -hmm. You know, Canadians are naturally laid back anyway, apparently, but are, are we complacent with our walk with God? Because it is a choice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We need all the nutrition we can get. Yes. Winning is work, mm -hmm. and defeat is easy. Anybody can lose, right? Yes. Just don't do anything. You lose. Mm -hmm. You want to lose or you want to be a winner? Yeah. You want to be a winner, you have to do what God tells us to do. Yeah. Pretty simple. Yeah. We should see victory mm. in our lives. Yes. Are we striving or stagnating? Mm. Are we still fighting the same problems we had 10 years ago? Mm. Or... Have we overcome them through all the tools that God's given us and we're moving on to new victories because there are new battles every day. And if you don't win the other battles, it's all going to pile up on top of you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be defeated. You're going to be crushed. <coughs> we need the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's yes. just what we're talking about tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, it's not just say, okay, Holy Spirit, come. No. No. You spend time. You just worship. You read. It's you might be laying on your bed. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You might be at your computer desk. It could be anywhere. Just yeah. mm -hmm. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. In your car. Yes. I spent hours and hours when I used to work at the car works, driving from Picto to the car works. Every day I'd pray. Every day. And I'd be lost. I don't know. Some days I don't know how I got there. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it was time well spent. Yes. yes. Yep. It got you through hard times. Yep. It built up your faith. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're encouraged in yourself. Yes. Sometimes nobody comes along to encourage you. Yes. You encourage yourself. Yes. I'm a child of God. Yes. You know? Yes. Hallelujah. We need the presence of Holy Spirit in us to encourage and energize us. And you only have Him by spending time. By doing all the above things, all the tools he's got, and closing in with them. Mm. There's no victory outside of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're not going to win the race on your own. No. You're not going to do it. No. We aren't doing God any favors by showing up in church. Mm -hmm. He's doing us a favor mm -hmm. by allowing us to come. <laughs> yes. To build us up. That's what yes. it's for. Yes. Amen. To be encouraged. 
we must work out our salvation. Mm -hmm. Maybe in this part of the world, the church is too available. Bibles, too many versions, teaching books, CDs, computers, TVs, on, uh, every, everything, it's everywhere. Too easy and we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. We get a little need and we run to God. Don't we all do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a boo-boo, help me Lord. <laughs> and once that's all better, where you go. Mm -hmm. I can do this Lord. What about all the tragedies and the shootings, the bombings, the terrorist attacks? Everyone runs to God for a while. They pray on the street corners. There's no shame then. No. You're, you're, you're in desperate need. Yeah. You pray on the street corners and the, and the schoolyards, and, and that's wonderful. But what about a few days later, you just go away and forget about that. Yeah. You go on your life. Yeah. Yeah. Where's God in all that? Yes. The Bible says, why are you so downcast on my soul? Psalm 42 and 5. And it says, uh, I'll read it here. Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, mm. for I shall again praise Him yes. for the help of His presence. Yes. Yes. What an amazing promise. Mm -hmm. The church, I'm not talking about just this church, I'm talking about His church worldwide, mm -hmm. is supposed to be a place of joy, peace, love, Victorious, so that the lost will look and say, I want what these people have. Yes. 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 Does the world want what you have, what I have? Do they want it? Are we showing that? Are we living it every day? If we are not displaying that, then we need to check ourselves out to just see what we need to do in order to be the people that Father God destined us to be. Mm -hmm. It takes work. Are you and I willing to sign up? Mm -hmm. God loves us too much to leave us the way he found us. Yes. And he's a great father willing to bring us the very, to the end zone mm -hmm. if we don't, uh, it, to do our very best if we don't quit. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to fight for what God has for us. Are you willing to fight that fight? Amen. To the end. Yes. He who endures to the end is saved. Yes. You can't quit. Mm -hmm. I have a video there I want to show John, but yeah, that movie, the movie one. You feel the Lord calling you, saying that? Oh, Isn't that amazing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God only needs one thing from us. It's not wisdom. It's not strength. It's not ability. It's not education. It's not talent. It's not our charm. <coughs> Anybody know what it is? It's our yes. Are you willing to fight the good fight? And that's what the Lord laid on my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's another one I'm going to show if we've got the time. Thank you, Jesus. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Thank you. This is Psalm 148. Praise the heaven. I'm just going to read parts of it. Praise the Lord from heaven, you that live in the heights above. Praise him, sun, moon. Praise him, shining stars. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters, and all the ocean depths. Praise Him, hills and mountains, fruit trees and forests, all animals, tame and wild, reptiles and birds. Praise Him, kings and all peoples. We're all peoples. Princes and all other rulers, young men and young women, old people, children too. Let them all praise the name of the Lord. His name is greater than all others. His glory is above earth and heaven. This is a little clip that touched my heart. And it's, it might seem a little silly at first, but just go with it. Yeah. Yeah. All of nature singing praise.
praises. Yes. How much more should we be singing praises? Yes. Constantly. Yes. The rocks will cry out, it says. Yes. I don't want the rocks to cry out in my spot. No. I praise the God, the God of all creation. The God who loves us beyond all measure. He wants the very best for us. What a wonderful God. And he's got a, a love letter he wants you to see. Can you play that, John? Yeah. Kind of takes your breath away, doesn't it? Amen. Are you willing to fight the fight? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let your yes be yes. Mm -hmm. I'm done. <laughs>